slathered with mustard and layered with sauerkraut, hot dogs have become an icon of New York City. The Empire State's love affair with the grab-and-go meal has a long history. It grew in 1916 thanks to one man named Nathan Handworker. Equipped with his wife Ida's secret spice recipe and 300 borrowed bucks, he opened his first hot dog stand in Coney Island, Brooklyn. Today, the hot dog mecca is bustling, and this weekend, Handworker's self-named Nathan's Famous brand turns 100. I'm here at Columbus Circle in New York City at one of the famous Nathan Hot Dog Carts with CEO Eric Gadoff. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So Nathan's is celebrating 100 years this year, um, and I know you guys have a lot of promotions planned. What do you guys got going on? Well, the first major promotion we're doing on Saturday Memorial Day weekend, this coming Saturday, at Coney Island, which is the original store. We're rolling back the price to the original price of a nickel hot dog for about three hours during the afternoon. That's going to have lines. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe, I'm sure people are going to be lining up We're for those five cent hot dogs. Um, so a century is a long time for a company, a public company like yours to have been around. What's been your secret to success? I, I think it, the brand is tremendously iconic and our customers connect with the brand emotionally as opposed to it just being a food item that they eat when they're hungry. Uh, eating our hot dogs brings back memories of the first time they went to Coney Island, an amusement park, a ball game, a barbecue. And that emotional connection has allowed us to remain strong for 100 Transports years. people right yes, back to the boardwalk. Sea salt smell in the air. So you guys, you've got, I think, more increased competition um, from places like Burger King, Shake Shack offering hot dogs as well. How do you guys stay competitive in that kind of environment? Well, I think it's a benefit for us that other people are promoting a hot dog as a center of plate protein. And we've done well. The more, the more Burger King has promoted on TV, the more our sales have gone up. So I'd be remiss, we're in New York City and the hot dog is such an iconic thing here. So show me how you like to eat your hot dog. How, how do you dress it up? New Yorker through and through. <laughs> you know, can you give me, uh, let me put the mustard on first and then I want a little sauerkraut. Of course, the sauerkraut is like essential. Get a little crowd on that. Gotta have that tang from that sauerkraut. So, ketchup. It's a big debate here in New York. Maybe it's not in New York. I'm from Kansas City, so it's not a debate there, but do you put ketchup? Does no. it belong on a hot dog? In my house, at 12 years old, you're no longer allowed to put ketchup on a hot dog. <laughs> there we go. That is the shot. Eric, thank you so much for joining thank me. You.